Yo, what's up guys? Ruckles Bad here, and welcome to our week 7 team prep video for the MPL battle this week. Now I'm your coach of the Dallas Starmies, and this week we get to go up against our homie Pterodactyl, aka Patrick, aka our co op partner in the Fire Red Leaf Green series. But yeah, uh, this week is definitely going to be a tough one. We are currently sitting at 3 and 3 after our win last week. Uh, it was a nice little win for us, we definitely needed it. Uh, we're definitely looking to build on that because uh, I definitely want to get back to positive, uh, a positive record, uh, not just like being even. So I'm gonna go over my team that I will be bringing this week. Uh, kind of a good team. I I really I really do think this team is really 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 good from what I've been looking looking at it and just like thinking of weaknesses that this team has and it's not really too much. But yeah, I'm going to go over this real quick. Um, so definitely leave a like if you enjoy it. Or wait to the end to, to leave a like, whatever you want to do. But I'm just going to go over what I'm going to be bringing against Patrick this week. Uh, so starting off, we are going to be bringing our Mega Gallade uh, named Justice. going to be shiny this week because he's going to be wearing the black cape. Because, you know, he's going he's gonna to try to put in some work. Uh, make up for the last time because he got parried. He got parahaxed. Um, or else we probably could have won that battle last time, but it's okay. Um, rocking out with Swords Dance, Shadow Sneak, Drain Punch, and Sunny Day. Sunny Day is just kind of thrown on there if I'm like in a situation where I'm going to kind of die, but I know I'll speed. Um, so just Sunny Day, and then I can set up for a Pyro or to sweep at the end or something. I don't know. Uh, but obviously, holding the Gladeite, Justified Ability before evolving, um, Shadow Sneak is going to be just for priority um, if I can get a swords dance up and shadow sneak I can kill the mega alakazam uh, and that can do a whole bunch of damage to like a kafagagus or something but um, shadow sneak just pretty much for priority if um, if I just need to kill something quick and not take any damage that's pretty much the only only reason for that drain punch just to get some recovery and stab um, and I need a stab move so so yeah uh, that's our Gallade this week. Our EVs kind of spread out this way. Max attack, um, a lot in speed. Uh, 137 is not really the, the number. Because um, once I Mega Evolve, hold on. Let's see. Let me fix it. If I fix that. Oh gosh, I didn't save it. Let's see. So we save that. Uh, his mega maxed out 170. So that outspeeds his f one of his faster mons. If I remember correctly, it is the Garchomp. As long as it's not Scarf, it will outspeed the Garchomp. Uh, we want to outspeed Sceptile naturally. And uh, Mega Zam we don't. But that's what we have the... Um, that's what we have the he Shadow Sneak for. So yeah. Uh, 170 is kind of the the number I was trying to get to on that one, but, but yeah. Next one I'll be bringing it will be Twilight, kind of our defensive Pokemon that pretty much are one of our only ones that we have. I think, I guess considering one of our really three defensive Mons, being this Cresselia, our Rotom, and our Aromatisse, kind of our only, only defensive Mons that we have on our my team. Kind of just worked out that way, and I probably should have drafted another one, but yeah. Uh, that's why I bring, that's why I bring Cresselia so much. But she can be holding leftovers, uh, levitate ability, obviously, kind of the same move set. Call my Moonblast, Moonlight, but Lunar Dance is gonna be his fourth move this week because I just wanna, just you know, just in case. Um, if I know I can live a hit, and just it'll get me down to like red or whatever. Just Lunar Dance. If I need to bring something else up to full health, that kind of just help me. Uh, but EV spreads, same thing I've always brought. Uh, max HP, bold nature, max defense. Um, so yeah, nothing really changing except for Loon Dance with my Twilight. Also be bringing back Suds, our Rotom Wash. I am starting to get the, the correct feel for Rotom and, and how to how to use it. So uh, actually going to be Life Orb this week with a Volt Switch, Hydro Pump, Pain Split, and Shadow Ball. Shadow Ball for the Cafagrius and the Mega Zam. Uh, pain split just to get some recovery off 
uh, hydro pump for stab and volt switch because I want to get my volt turn core going. Um, I'll show you in just a minute. But we do have EV spread as follows, kind of like a tanky mon, max out HP, 120 special attack, modest nature. The rest split between defense and special defense, so yeah. Uh, but like I said, I want to keep my volt turn core kind of together this week because I haven't really brought them much. But I'm bringing Nightwing Microbat with a Black Sludge Infiltrator ability with Super Fang, Brave Bird, U-Turn, and Haze. Haze, just in case he wants to try to set up for anything, because um, I know I'll outspeed mostly anything that's not scarfed. U-Turn uh, for, like I said, the Volt Turn, I want to try to just whittle Pokemon down. It's kind of just going to be my main point this week. Uh, I just want to try to whittle stuff down and then have a late game sweep with the next two Mons, if I can. Uh, Brave Bird just for a stab and it hits hard and Super Fang in case I can't hit anything I can just cut some things HP in half so that'd be kind of nice uh, Max out speed Jolly Nature so I can get to 200 um, is my max out speed uh, Rest and attack and yeah just rest and special defense so hopefully this Volt Turn combo of Rotom and Nightwing can whittle Pokemon down so we can set up for a sweep with either Mo or Sock. So uh, my power set this week is going to be a Choice Scarf uh, Rivalry ability with Dark Pulse, Flamethrower, Endeavor, and HP Ice. I really thought about bringing like the Hyper Voice, but I uh, figured I have enough coverage with Flamethrower and Dark Pulse because Dark Pulse hits um, quite a few things hard, uh, as does Flamethrower just for stab. If I can get the sun up, that's even better. Uh, but HP Ice mainly just for the Garchomp because I want to open that thing as quickly as I can. Uh, my speed as followed, or my <laughs> EVs as follows. Uh, maxed out special attack. Again, this 170 speed. I guaranteed out speed the max speed choice scarf Garchomp. So <laughs> I couldn't get that out right. But because uh, Garchomp maxes out at 169, uh, choice scarf takes it to something uh, but I max out 170 so choice scarf me there and I guaranteed out speed um, so that's why I have that with HP ice um, so yeah I'm either gonna try to set up to try to sweep with pyro or my next Pokemon which kind of gonna be my shenanigan Pokemon for this week the odd one the odd set that I always bring but it's gonna be lean our sock holding the salic berry which uh, if you don't know raises the speed by one stage when I reach one fourth of max HP or less. Um, also with the sturdy ability. So if I can get down to my sturdy, uh, have the berry pop. Uh, it's pretty much like holding a choice scarf. But the plan behind this is to bulk up first turn, um, have it attack me bring, me, bring me down to the sturdy, have the berry pop, and then I will have pretty much plus one attack, defense, and speed. So I will be hitting things really hard. Um, also another move is going to be Reversal. Reversal, when I'm down at 1%, has a base power of 200. So that is going to hurt a lot of things. Rock Slide, just so I can hit the Zapdos, because Zapdos is kind of a problem if he wants to bring it, because I really don't have too much of a check besides Tyrantrum, but I didn't bring him this week. So Rock Slide, kind of just to hit that. Knockoff is going to be for the, um, just knock anything off, uh, nothing really appreciates a knockoff to begin with, but specifically for the Mega Alakazam, um, I mean I know a reversal would kill at plus one, so I think it would actually kill without plus one, so anyways, um, kind of the, the odd set of the week is going to be this one, but like I said, Max. Uh, max attack and max speed with the jolly nature. So um, if I get the berry to activate, I uh, will be sitting at a nice 225 speed, which outspeeds is Mega Alakazam. Uh, so pretty much anything that's not scarfed, I will outspeed. Um, and then the attack is just freaking high with look at this 125 base attack. But yeah, um, hopefully this I, I really do want to try to sweep with Lean towards the end just because it's going to be kind of coming out of nowhere but something that was really on my mind this week is the trace from the Alakazam because if it traces 
uh, my sturdy and it's not like if it's at full health it's not really gonna help me because I'm gonna die before I can get this set up and stuff so um, so yeah this is gonna be my Pokemon this week hopefully we can pull out the W because we definitely do need it uh, I do want to keep in the playoff race so um, so this win would definitely help if we lose it'd be kind of a bummer um, just for our playoff hopes because our division is really really tight with Trevor and Patrick and myself so uh, get a win this week and we'll be right back in it and we'll just make the race even that much closer <laughs> See so yeah, if you did enjoy definitely go leave a like on your way out your support is very much appreciated but yeah I'm good about here see you all next time bye